What is going on guys, it's CG here and welcome back to another Ark Survival Evolved video. So in today's video I am going to be showcasing all the new weapons and tools that got added into the new Scorched Earth DLC and I'm just going to jump straight into it because there isn't really much for me to talk about and I just want to show off all these cool new items because they're so awesome and I really do like them. So my hotbar down below has all the new weapons and tools that are added into the game and first off I'm going to start with the boomerang. Now the boomerang is a very unique weapon. You hold right click down as if you were pulling a bow and then you let go to throw it and it will spin around and come back to you. And I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if this thing gathers any resources, I'll try it on this bush here. No it doesn't gather any resources but I know for a fact it does damage dinos and knock them out I think so I'm gonna jump down here and I'm gonna find something uh, like the thorny dragon here Let's see if I can knock this little guy out okay so that's one hit he's shooting the spikes at me it's a second hit he's only level 10 so it shouldn't be too hard to get this guy down I might end up killing him before he goes down actually now he's running away because he's either high on torpor or low on health. Ah, I missed him and he'd get a bit closer. Where's he going? Oh, here he is. He's stuck here. Perfect. So that's another hit and another one. Come on, don't die on me. Oh, there we go. He's unconscious just before he died. So as you can see, it does count as a weapon as well as doing torpor damage and knocking them out and this terror bird here is strangely looking at me I thought he was going to eat this guy then but the thorny dragon here is now dead not dead knocked out on the floor so here's a new way of taming it's a very good way of taming so you won't need any sort of farming you won't need to re really uh, farm narcotics or use a crossbow or any tranquilizers or anything like that it's a really cheap and effective way of knocking out dinos that you wish to tame. However, it does leave them on very low HP and it does do quite a lot of damage. I think I might end up one hitting this guy here. Oh no, he's flying away. Let's see if I can kill him. Ah, oh, no, I missed. And here comes my boomerang right back to me. So, that is all for the boomerang. Pretty straightforward. You throw it, it comes back to you, knocks out dinos and also kills them. Probably does the same to players. Now, next we're going to be taking a look at the cluster grenade. And I am going to need a fly for this. So I can show off its true beauty. So if I chuck this little cluster grenade right here next to these scorpions in the middle, it'll explode, shoot off these little other grenades that will then land and explode around it. So this is going to be used for mainly big hordes of dinos. It's not too good to like if you chuck the grenade on them it's going to miss, you have to try and chuck it next to them for um, them to damage the dinos. So little grenades kind of shoot out to the side. But that's it for the cluster grenades. You drop them down and they explode, throw in other little grenades around the area. I managed to kill this scorpion and this one is almost dead but I couldn't finish him off. So I am going to test some of the other weapons on this guy as I've run out of grenades. So next we are going to do the chainsaw, which is so awesome. This guy requires gasoline to be powered, so I'm just going to quickly drop down on the floor and test out this guy on dinos. I'm not too sure how powerful it is. Well, it definitely does take a while to kill dinos, should you kind of... Like, see, for a level 3, that too took a lot longer than I thought it would. Which isn't too good, because these terrorists do a lot of damage, and if you do get swarmed by a pack of them, they're going to do a lot of damage to you before you can kill them all. And that like, goes for the same with other dinos as well. Now, here's this little jug bug that I found earlier. I think you can drink water from it. I can get him to stay still. Come on. No. I think I've got infinite stats on, so it's not going to let me. But I'm going to cut up this guy. Oh, oh, and he died. Oh, I never knocked the dose here for him. 
It's pretty nice music as well. This is the first dosha I've got. It's kind of unique and cool. I haven't seen this one yet. I have to do a bit of research into these dosias, but this guy. Oh, you can drink water when he's dead as well. Okay. Doesn't have an inventory. And you can use the chainsaw for harvesting. So. And this saber's gonna come after me. Let me just cut him up. It's not gonna last too long. And then I can harvest his body by using the chainsaw. And this chainsaw is mainly also used for cutting down trees. As that is the intended purpose for a chainsaw. But in my opinion, I'm just gonna stick to an axe or uh, trees. This guy is mainly gonna be used as a melee weapon. I don't see it being too effective. Um, on trees, because it does get roughly the same amount of resources as a metal axe would do, and it just requires more to repair, and it obviously has a fuel source as well. Now, I think, I'm not sure if it gets any, does it get rocks? No, so I don't think it gets anything from stones, it's just wood and thatch, as well as killing dinos and getting their resources. So that is the chainsaw done. We are moving on next to one of my favourite items in the game, and that is the flamethrower. Now, the flamethrower is an absolute amazing weapon. One of my favourites by far. I just love being able to burn dinos, and see how quick it killed that saber tooth. It was level 13. That is quite a low level, but still, it took like, what, less than 5 seconds to kill it. And now that titano bow is dead as well. This weapon is just amazing. Now, something that goes along with uh, the flamethrower are these little oil pots. Now, you can throw these on the floor, and it creates this little, you know, drop of oil. And you can make a really long row of these guys, like so. If I just keep going all the way to this rock here on my right, hoping that. These are close enough. Okay, so I've run out. I do have a few more. Another one. Uh, come on. There we go. Right, so I got this little path of oil. And what is cool about this is you can set the entire thing on fire like that. So the wolves just run through it. So I've got this massive line of fire. And if I jump through it quickly, I am burning. But the wolf will burn as well, and uh, I can burn the wolf. But this row of fire is really nice, I really do like it. And if you were to use this on um, a PvP server or something, you could surround your base in oil, and then if you happen to be getting raided, you could set it on fire so nobody could get close enough to your base. They'd have to kind of wait for this to decay. I'm not too sure how long this lasts, uh, I think it's a minute. I'm not too sure. And you can also set this on fire with the new flaming arrows that you get for crossbows and bows. This is pretty straightforward. It's just a uh, normal bow and arrow. Works the same way as crossbows, normal ammunition, but it just sets dinos on fire. So you see I shot that snake there, he's got a burning effect. Just does a lot more damage really. One shot at that Atlant. And now you can see the oils ran out as well. So we are left with only two more weapons, and that is the whip and the amazing homing missile. Something that was very much needed in Ark, and some people class to be as unfair, especially for those who don't have Scorched Earth. This thing is pretty OP. As you can see, if I get that jug bug, this I need to get a bit closer actually. You see it gets this little red lock on system, you have to be like on point and then when you fire the rocket does follow. So let's find a better target, I need something, something worth shooting at. I need something that can fly really. Well let's just test on these terabits over here. So you can see it locks on, you have to be kind of really steady and follow their movements. Look at this guy, it lights up green, you get the red, the blue box and then you fire and the rocket will follow the dino and then blow up, killing them. So this is going to be very effective, especially on the default arc for killing uh, Quetzals and any other flyers really, this thing is just going to keep following them. 
Uh, it does quite a lot of damage as well. See if we can kill this Parasol with one shot. Yep, there we go. But all these dinos are really low level for some reason. I think it's just because the map is so hard to survive that they just give you the really low level dinos. Just kill that guy there. Now, so that is the homing missile done. You do not need a separate launcher for this. It's just the normal rocket launcher with a different type of ammunition. So all you, the only cost you'll have to pay is for the new ammo. Now the whip is something very unique. I really do like this tool or weapon. I'm not too sure. It's kind of classed as both. So this thing it collects all types of resources. If I go up to the stone here, I don't think I can farm this stone. No, it's not doing it now. Okay, so I can do it on these bushes then. Right, so you can see that I use it to farm these bushes here, getting all types of berries. And I did use this to get stone earlier, and now it's not working. Oh, there we go, I got some stone then. Ah, oh, there you go. You can see I'm getting sand on that stone there. It's kind of hard to get it to work, and this wolf is annoying me. So let's just whip this wolf. Oh, okay, so as you can see, when you whip the dino, it also gives it like a movement delay on this wolf here. I'm whipping it, and it can't follow me. It's kind of stuck, stays still for a little bit, and then uh, you gives you a bit of time to run away, or if you're taming it, to uh, keep it still. Now, that whip's broken, so I've got another one here. But I'm not going to use the rest of the durability on this wolf, I'm going to quickly burn him up. He's annoying me and in my way. I need to try and get it to work on these stones. I know for a fact that it does farm stones. Maybe it's the stones on the floor. I have done it before and it's just kind of funny how for this video it's refusing to work. Come on, god damn it. Alright, so I've just got the command. Spawn in some more witnessy. If I can get these things to work on stone, because I know for a fact they do, and if they end up not working on stone, I know I'm going to have a bunch of angry people down in the comments raging about how I gave off false information, but these guys do get stone, as you can see. It, it got, there we go, I'm farming stone now. I have to keep smacking this rock over and over and over again. I did it once or twice, and there you go, I get him stone from these as well. It just doesn't seem to be registering properly. I don't know why. It's very off, but it does get stone. I'm whipping all these rocks here, and you can see the stone is actually being collected, as well as sand. So, another way to get stone. I think it's more of a ideal use for getting sand. Sand is used a lot in this DLC for crafting of buildings and other pieces of equipment. But yeah, this is the whip. I showed everything it does a bit. I'm not too sure if it gets these cactuses. Get any of these cactuses? No, it gets loads of fiber from me, so. Or was that just because the bushes are on the floor? Mainly because of the bushes, I think. But yeah, guys, that is it for this video. I've showed up all the weapons. That is everything explained. And show to you the oil pot isn't really classed as a weapon but I just think it's something cool and I really do like it something unique something different and um, burn this cactus yeah he's dead all right so you yeah, guys that is it for this video just want to thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this video and it helped you in any way shape or form please do leave a like and also if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe for more Ark survival of all content I'll see you all in the next video